NBA is officially back and got an awesome matchup. Nets Warriors, Kevin Durant against his former championship teammates. No Klay Thompson, but we do get a look at the Warriors' second overall pick, James Wiseman. Nets Warriors, let's make a pick. All right, let's take a look here. The line opened up Brooklyn minus five and a half, and the initial bets were kind of split down the middle. It wasn't until we got to the weekend that money started really coming in on the nets, and that's when you see the line start to move. It went up to six and a half. Now here we are on Monday night. It's all the way up to seven, and the money's still coming in on the nets. So what does that tell us? It tells us that the Sharps, the professional gamblers, they like Brooklyn heavy in this game. Even with a seven point spread, they still are betting Brooklyn Nets to cover. Real quick look at these two teams. The Nets should have no problem scoring this season. If you take a look at the preseason, Karis LeVert, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant were all scoring efficiently. My issue with the Nets this season is not on offense at all. It's the interior defense. It looks like they're gonna be starting DeAndre Jordan at the five. And I mean, I'm not a DeAndre Jordan hater, but this dude gets slower every single year. He doesn't shift side to side like he used to. And if Durant's at the four with a recovering Achilles, teams shouldn't have a problem getting to the basket on this Nets team, especially with some good ball movement. That's my only issue with the Nets this year. As far as the Warriors go, I know I can speak for everyone. Everyone's excited to see Steph splashing them. If you watch the, uh, the preseason, Steph was splashing them. We're all excited to see Steph dropping them 27 footers again. Here's the thing with the Warriors. You know that they're gonna be well coached, well disciplined, no Clay Thompson. And the Warriors are still gonna be able to score, but Clay Thompson not only was a good scorer for that team, huge defensive piece. He's their main perimeter defender. So that's my obviously my issue with the Warriors, perimeter defense. Good outside shooting teams should be able to light the Warriors up. So what is the pick? All right, I'm taking Warriors plus seven, but hold up. It's impossible for anyone to have reads on the NBA. Coming off this weird COVID bubble season into a quick start. I mean, the off season was what, two months? A very quick start. We, no one knows what we're gonna see. So let's start off betting half units. I'm taking Warriors plus seven and I'm confident with it, but give me a couple weeks to find my groove with NBA picks. Warriors plus seven, lock it in with a half unit.